Sifon joins me live for updates on this development. Sifon, do the quarter guards engage in combatant activities beyond a ceremonial display uh, that you have talked about? They are like everyday soldiers involved in everything a soldier is involved with doing. And um, in this instance, they are selected to mount the quarter guard for ceremonial purposes. After they've served their time at the quarter guard, they are sent for other responsibilities, including combat. Now, at the, during their time at the quarter guard, they are meant to learn discipline, you know, up their ante and discipline based on the activities they engage in, like the drills we just saw in those videos. Well, discipline is very key, uh, given the latest story that you have covered for us as regards um, the killing of some police officers in, uh, some, in the northern part of Nigeria. H how really do this uh, matching discipline translate into uh, reality on the field, so to speak? Well, basically, the uh, discipline, alertness, and uh, regimentation uh, being enforced or instilled in the troops are meant to translate to tangible, workable, uh, you know, activities for the troops on the field uh, when in battle. But how exactly that translates, it, you know, varies from soldier to soldier. And that's why the military authorities keep on emphasizing these trainings to keep them in shape and keep them disciplined for the task ahead of them. How often does this competition take place and is it only limited to the Federal Capital Territory? I know this competition takes place across the country on, uh, in every military or army formation. And it's monthly, there are trainings that happen monthly, there are those that happen quarterly, uh, depending on the type of training and the purpose for which it is meant to serve. Indeed, we look forward to see this discipline displayed on the field, especially in the relationship between um, Army and the Nigerian people. Thanks for talking to us tonight. Sifan.